All right, let's go ahead and talk about Self-Titled and the Dima storyline, an argument as old as time. Is this album a part of the Dima storyline or not? I have seen this get argued so many places around the internet, whether that be Twitter, Discord, Reddit, the YouTube comment sections of my videos, such as the very first time we talked about this in April of 2021, before the release of Scale Nasty, before live stream experience, before the Saturday and Outside Music Videos Takeover Tour, IEC Tour, and so much more. And earlier on this week, I made a video that, gonna be honest, not a lot of you guys liked, where I gave an argument for it isn't a part of the Dima storyline, with Tyler saying in the 10th anniversary of Vessel livestream that he views Vessel as their first album. And like I said, not a lot of you guys like that, and you let me know in the comments section, which again, much appreciated feedback is always welcome. Genuinely, genuinely do mean that. And I asked again on Twitter, and people let me know their opinions there. So I figure, why not? Let's just take a look at both sides of the argument and, and ask ourselves, is self-titled a part of the Dima lore? So let's get right into it. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on when you're watching this. How's it going, guys? First off, hope you're having a good day today. Hope your day is going well and hope it continues to go well. Let's go ahead and get right into it. And I do have a stance on where I am in this argument. However, I'm going to give that to you at the very end of this video. Spoilers. You're not gonna like it. Let's start off with the arguments for self-titled being a part of the Dima storyline first, and let's go ahead and point to what people point to the most as undisputed proof self-titled is a part of the Dima lore, and that is a car, a torch, a death. People will point this one out all the time because starting off in the blurry face era, what do we get in the Heavy Dirty Soul music video? We get a car with Tyler in the backseat with someone driving Tyler. Hop forward to the Trench era and the Trench trilogy of levitate jumpsuit nico and the niners what do we see josh is holding a torch maybe not in levitate but there are torches in levitate music video that is what the banditos do so we have a torch and finally jumping to scaled and icy what do we got we got a death because clancy is dead but that's propaganda so if you don't want to believe that that's fine but we do have another death on our hands with keons in the outside music video well what about trash no trash has already been dead keons just sees him because trash is an empty vessel which means a long time ago so we have a car a torch a death take a look at the lyrics more closely there are more tie-ins you can make with the dima storyline and going back to a car i've seen people tie in taxi cab with the heavy dirty soul music video as well especially the rap section being that tyler can't see who's driving the car and he's just in the back seat of a car as he's being driven and then people will tie march to the sea into the demon storyline i've seen many many ways many theories and how much the sea ties in whether that be by the saturday music video where that be tyler and josh leaving dima or marching back to dima as we currently stand where that being the shyway music video so on so forth however what i think is interesting is the emotionless marchers that people can tie into the citizens of dima especially in the one clancy letter where it talks about everyone's hopes and dreams being gone that the bishops have taken them away from them very paraphrased of course i've seen people tie implicit demand for proof into the storyline because what's in implicit demand for proof that's right dima itself is in implicit demand for proof i've seen people tie an isle of flightless birds possibly representing the banditos somehow and uh because isle of flightless birds can't leave dima you can't fly so maybe banditos and isle of flightless birds even though they uh, have vultures as their symbol trash dragons if you will because that's what tyler calls them and oh Let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at the album cover of self-titled because people will point to this all the time because what do we got here? We have someone's saturation leaving them slowly. Down here in the ooze, you have this city that could represent Dima. You have a forest that can represent Trench or the song Forest because Vessel is a bonus track so now coming to streaming services. So I guess Forest, Glowing Eyes, Lovely and Kitchen Sink are canon now. And speaking of Kitchen Sink, you have like these little tiny drains down here leaking the ooze as well. And people will point to this. And the one thing people will point to a lot with this also is that 
you can find this on every single streaming service as opposed to regional at best where you can't find on most. You can find it on some like Pandora and Deezer, but you can find self-titled everywhere. And being if they are tying Vessel into the Dima storyline, which seems like they have done, then it makes sense for them to retrograde and I mean retroactively adds self-titled as a part of the storyline itself, considering we are able to listen to these songs. Another reason that I see people back up self-titled being a part of the lore is that the themes that are found on self-titled can be found throughout the other 21 pilot releases. Take your pick, whether that be Regional at Best, whether that be Vessel, whether that be bl uh, Blurry Face, whether that be Trench, or whether that be Skill Nacy, all those themes can be found in Self-Titled. And it's possible that Self-Titled could have influenced the Dima storyline, slash Tyler could have took inspiration from the songs on Self-Titled and turned it into this whole big storyline. Admittedly, some people do take this a step beyond and will say that it was no fun intended to inspire the Dima storyline for the same reasons that we just talked about of we can find the same themes of what Tyler has been writing about in recent eras that can be traced back to no fun intended. However, I don't like this one because that one, because no fun intended was a Tyler Joseph solo project. And I know some people view that as the first 21 pilots album, the pilots even don't because they didn't acknowledge that in the every era medley they did for the icy tour. You can't find that one and any streaming service for that matter. So, yeah, I think it's safe to say, no fun intended, 100% definitely not a part of the lore. But now let's get into the arguments for this not being a part of the lore. Starting us off, the themes found in self-titled don't appear in the Dima storyline. That's right, we are completely contradicting ourselves from what we just talked about. So in self-titled, Tyler talks a lot about his relationship with God. That is found a lot in self-titled, as well as how he wants to help everyone, how he wants to help other people in songs like Friend Please, A Car, Torch, and Death, Taxi Cab, Before You Start Your Day, Oh Miss Believer, and so on. And you also get some talk about family dynamic within this album as well. If we take a look at the Dima storyline, it's written in a godless world. So immediately that takes out every theme of faith found within the uh, self-titled album. In fact, Tyler's questioning his faith in Trench and just take a look at Leave the City on that one. As far as helping out other people, you still do find themes of that in the Dima storyline. I mean, just take a look at My Blood or the love songs from Scale Nicey, Trench, and Blurry Face for that matter. And family dynamic? Not really there as much. I mean, besides like all the love songs being written for Jenna, that's about it. But there isn't a lot of talk about the themes that are actually found in self-titled. Another argument I see is that not everything 20 pilots do has to be involved in the lore. And that is completely fair. I mean, just take a look at Smithereens. Just take a look at Formidable. Take a look at Terramar. Basically, any love song dedicated to Jenna doesn't have to be a part of the lore. And that can stretch to full albums, whether that be self-titled or whether that be regional at best. Not everything 20 Pilots do has to be a part of the lore. That can even go on to the live show, especially Tyler, Josh, in the real world where people will tie them to lore things all the time, like in an Instagram post and like will tie things to like what Jenna is wearing. Not everything Tyler and Josh do out in the wild, especially when it involves other family members, is lore related. And that extends to the children. Don't include Rosie or Junie in your theories. That's gross. Stop it. Another argument against the sound being a part of the lore is, well, if you really think about it, 21 Pilots barely acknowledge the existence of self-titled for years. We've been trying to get them to acknowledge Regional at Best, ask them why it's not on streaming services, when it's coming to streaming services, what are you going to do on the 10th anniversary of Regional at Best, that we just forget the fact that they barely acknowledge this album at all. You want proof? Okay, let's go ahead and talk about it. What did they do for the 10th anniversary of Vessel? They did a whole live stream dedicated to it. They did some 10th anniversary of Vessel merch. They released a 10th anniversary vinyl. What did they do in the 10th anniversary of Self-Titled, which would have been in 2019? Whole lot of nothing. There was no merch made for it. There was no vinyl release. There was no CD release. There was absolutely 
nothing. Maybe there was a Twitter post. Maybe that's it. Maybe there's an Instagram thing. But other than that, nothing. And you would think if they acknowledge this album more, there would at least be some sort of merch for on the 21 Pilot store. Like they could easily revamp this into something, like especially this sort of pattern right here of the this little goo echoing from this guy's head. They could easily make that into some fun merch, but there's absolutely nothing. There are many bootleg vinyls of self-titled, but there's no official self-titled vinyl from 21 Pilots. And if they made one, they would make a lot of them because I guarantee you people would buy them up. But alas, there is nothing. And then if you think about other aspects of the demon lore, specifically the live stream experience, there is no song from self-titled on there at all. There are songs from Vessel. There are songs from every other 21 Pilot album, except for Regional Best for obvious reasons. But there is nothing from self-titled. The album that exists within streaming services. But there was nothing. I feel as though, and I said this before, and I'm, maybe there are people that echo this also, but if it was canon, if self-titled was canon in the Demon Lore, there would at least be one song, one tease, in the live stream experience. Because the live stream experience basically confirms that in Dima lore, where 21 Pilots, the band exists, Vessel, Blurry Face, Trench, and Skelnacy all exist as one. But nothing about self-titled. And going with the band live, in recent years, they've only gravitated towards three of these songs, Fall Away, I Look With a Pen, and Taxi Cab. And other than that, the last time these songs were performed, take a look at very, early Vessel, early Regional at Best era, because Josh hasn't played a lot of these songs. He's played the Pantaloon, he's played Tax, of course, Tax Cab Fall Away, I Up With A Pen, but he's played the Pantaloon and he has played uh, Isle of Flightless Birds. I couldn't find any performance of Josh performing any of the other songs on there. And if I'm wrong, someone will put it down in the comment section below. But. There is early footage of Johnny Boy, March to the Sea, and other such. Maybe there is footage of Josh playing Johnny Boy that I forgot. Regardless, there is nothing of him playing Friend Please, March to the Sea, Implicit Demand, Twine Pilots, never played that song live, Air Catcher, Trap Door, at all. There's a medley of A Car Torch Death, but I don't know if Josh was playing on that one. I don't think he was. But there isn't a lot of acknowledge of self-titled in the live show, especially within recent years, with them only gravitating towards three of these songs. And that leads into another aspect of the Dima lore that people view against this being a part of the album. Let me try that again. And that leads us to another aspect of why people think self-titled isn't a part of the lore, and that is that there is no Josh on this album, which people will view as a very dumb reason. It still has the 21 Pilots name on it, but a lot of people view the 21 Pilots properly starting when Josh joined the band. And um, they, I don't think they people acknowledge Chris and Nick as part of 21 Pilots as much, even though they are past members. And but in a lot of people's head, the Demon Lord doesn't properly start until there is a Josh, because people either don't like the fact there is was once Demon without Josh, or that they can't imagine the world without Josh. Something along those lines. As far as the songs on self-titled go, I have seen many people say, in any theory trying to tie a self-titled song to the Demon Lore, that it is too far out there. That it is a real stretch. I've seen this in Discord, I've seen this in Reddit, I've seen this on Twitter, I've seen it on my own videos as well. And like, a lot of people will say, oh, that's too far of a stretch for me or like we'll come up with a reason against, but that's the beautiful thing about theories. No one is right, no one's wrong until proven otherwise, which leads me into my official stance on the matter. The official 2023 Justin's Lore stance on self-titled is, it could be, it could not be. I'm 50-50 at this point. I am neutral grounds because I go back and forth between this myself. Um, there are days where I view this as not a part of the lore. There are days where I view this as a part of the lore. And I 
haven't been given any strong thing for me to sway one side to the other. It's fun to tie self-titled into the lore. It gets the brain working. So of course I will start, I will always spotlight theories talking about self-titled being a part of the lore. That being said, if it's not part of the lore, I'm fine with it also. If it just extends back to self-titled, I mean to Vessel, I'm happy with it. I said Ned wasn't part of the Dima storyline before the outside music video. I got proven wrong there. Love to be proven wrong about this one as well. So the official stance in summary, I don't know. I'm just having fun with it. And if it is, it's great. If it's not, that's also great. I'm fine either way. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you think self-titled is part of the lore or do you think self-titled is not a part of the lore? I might do a part two on this, but yeah, fun things, fun fun things, and we'll probably talk about this towards the end of the year or next year, considering we this is a constant thing we talk about on the channel. But anyway, guys, I'ma go. I'll see you all tomorrow with I don't know what yet. I don't know if I'm flipping Tuesday's video into Wednesday's video. I don't know, but either way, I'll see you all later. Goodbye, and then more importantly, have a good day, and I'll see you later.